A panel of lawmakers and legislative appointees met for the first time Thursday to begin discussing redistricting reform. But as Brandon Smith reports, there seems to be fundamental disagreement between committee members on whether or not Indiana's system needs to be changed. The committee spent the bulk of its first meeting hearing a review of Indiana's redistricting process and the systems in place in other states. But in the committee members' opening comments, a partisan divide soon surfaced. Republicans on the panel seem happy with Indiana's current system, while Democrats advocate for change. Senate Minority Leader Tim Lannan says that divide is concerning and acknowledges that many voters might look at the House and Senate GOP supermajorities and question whether Republicans have any motivation for reform. I would hope that uh, voters would be sending uh, messages clearly to the supermajority members of the General Assembly that they expect change. And uh, if they do not, that that will be a consideration when it comes election time. The members also spent time outlining their initial thoughts, and Buck Creek Senator Brant Hirschman, echoing his other Republican colleagues, says he's proud of the way GOP lawmakers have drawn the maps. And I don't think that uh, this is nearly the voodoo science that people uh, suggest that it is, such that drawing a line on a map is going to ensure an outcome. One of the things I pointed out today is uh, when parties have driven or have drawn the maps in the last two cycles, the opposite party immediately took control in short order. But Democrats on the committee, and even Republican appointee Ted Bohm, a former state Supreme Court justice, criticized the lack of competitiveness in Indiana's races. They note that more than 40 percent of lawmakers in 2014 ran unopposed in the general election. The study committee runs for two years. Another meeting is expected in the next couple of months. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Brandon Smith.